when I stopped going, ah, I would never do this, ah, I would never do that, I don't need this. Just come and learn what the instructor is teaching and try, even if it doesn't fit in the game. But just remember that uh, knowledge builds on itself, so you might find yourself there, you know what I mean? You might find yourself in a, in a situation where the technique that you hated presented itself as an opportunity. But what I wanna talk about today, I have a video on my YouTube channel about it, we talked. I talked about it before. It's like uh, the total sum of all the people that you keep close to you, right? It's on uh, Coach Casey Tan on YouTube. But I want to talk about it today a little bit because um, it's become apparent to me in the last uh, couple of weeks that let's say you can only pay attention to ten people, like really pay attention, like know who they're married to, know their kids. You are there as like a confidant, you listen, you know about their financial situation, right? You have a lot of friends that are on the periphery, you know, they're cool, they're, but you have, you know, about 10 people you can really pay attention to. Out of that 10 people, you inherit about five, right? Mom, dad, brother, sister, a first cousin that's really close to the family, right? So, uh, now let's think about a gradient, right? So. You've got like a positive 10 all the way down to zero. So 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, all the way down to zero. And then that's like that baseline. And then you've got a negative 10, negative 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. The five people that you inherit, you can't control their value, right? So let's say your dad's like a negative 3, your mom's like a, a positive 4, you're a positive 1 just with those two people in your life. And then you've got like a brother and sister, one of them's a drug addict, or whatever, whatever. So the five that you inherit, you might be at a negative value overall with the five that you inherit. The point of this is the five people that you can pay attention to, that you have control of, it's very important that those people are bringing positivity to your life. They're trying to do something, they bring a positive value. Because not everybody was fortunate enough to be born to a mom and a dad that kick ass and have brothers and sisters that kick ass. We're all human, we're all different variants in humanity, right? So some of us started with a negative uh, value with just the people that we didn't choose. So it's really important that you go and you find the people that are gonna encourage you to excel in life. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. So if you think about it like a bubble, you are a bubble. And each person that you bring into your life, you can only fit 10 inside of your bubble. And each person is a bubble. And there's a number associated to each person whether it's a negative number or a positive number. The ones you inherit, you can't control their number, but the ones that you decide to be friends with, you can. So make sure you're bringing people into your circle that are gonna bring positivity. And try to get that, try to get that sum of your 10 as high as possible, right? So the sum of your 10, like the highest possible would be like 100, am I right? 10 times 10, right? And anything, anything less than 100, we need to work on. And for the people in our lives that have negative values attached to them, we need to work on them. You know, we need to go home and we need to talk to our siblings that are not doing well. And we have to encourage them and coach them and assist them and help them because they're never gonna not be your brothers and sisters or your first cousins or your mom and dad. They're always gonna be there. So it's better to coach them and bring them up. That'll bring your average up. Um, it became apparent to me 17 years ago when I got together with my wife and you know, I was always an earner. Like I could always make money, like always. I never had a problem making money, but once I was stable with like a positive 50, my wife is like, uh, she's a, she ex exceeds that 10 value. But my life became amazing. If you're not ready to get married or you don't have a girlfriend, you could do that with really kick-ass friends that are gonna encourage you to get up and get after it, you know? Training partners in here too, like you can apply that to jujitsu. You should be surrounding yourself with guys in here that are trying to get better. And those should be the ones that you drill with. And you should take this everywhere in your life. But it's really helped me. And uh, I hope that you can start looking at it like that. 
you know, because then you'll see like, damn, I got this friend, and this friend is like, he's on drugs, and he's always fucking selling the farm for something today, and he, he doesn't have long-term thinking, and, and it's just every time I talk to him, it's about this and that, and it's just fucked up. You know, you don't have to not be friends with those guys, but you need to like slide them out and then bring someone else in. And some people can have 15 or 20, some people can only have five, you know, so everybody's different. But let's start paying attention to who we're keeping close to us. And if they're gonna be influencing your life on the daily, they should be fucking badasses, just like you. You know, you do one thing the way you do all things. So, or you do all things the way you do one thing. I don't know how to say that, but. Anyway, I fucking love you guys. Uh, also, we're gonna start filming some of the roles and posting them on the YouTube channel too. So if you guys wanna go back and look at getting fucked up, if you wanna, if you wanna see what that looks like, you can go on Coach Casey 10 on YouTube. No, nah, I wasn't bad, you did good, you did good. When you play a high risk game, like when, when uh, you got a guy that outweighs you by 40 pounds and he's on top of you and he's been training longer than you've been alive and you try to go heel hook, like an inversion, you're probably gonna get stuck on the bottom, you know? <laughs> but I don't, I don't hate you for that because you're, you're going, you know that it's probably a dark road that you went down, but you're still trying to get it. You're still trying to get it. And that shit inspires me to be better. You know, I, I love it. I'm a samurai. I don't want you guys to fucking not kill me when you have a chance like you owe it to me when you have an opportunity to break me you should and i believe me i'm mature enough to tap i will tap i will but you might get hell for the next three minutes mm -hmm. but you know it's a story of my wife it's life three minutes of hell anyway let's get the fuck that, out of here one two not worth it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <that's yeah. laughs> my wife says the same thing <laughs> Thanks, guys. Shake hands. Don't be dicks. Let's go. So, everybody that I go this way, stand behind me. Go that way, the one. Go that way. Go that way. Go, go, go. Go around. No, you show me here. I gotta coach you guys every day. We'll get this. You should hear it Thank you, bro.